Hello everyone, Sam Hack here for Rent to Retirement and today we're recapping the real estate and economic news for the week of April 18th, 2022. So what do you need to know? In home sale news, what everyone is on edge about right now, according to Redfin, the number of home sales dropped nearly 4% on a seasonally adjusted basis from February to March. Even though sales slowed down, the median home price grew 6% month over month to $412,700, the largest monthly price increase since 2013. What does this mean? Well, it's looking like the housing market is still pretty strong due to good old supply and demand. In our second story this week, lumber prices saw a 6% decrease in price this week, bringing the cost to its lowest level of the year. The price of lumber dropped to $829 per thousand board feet, which is a 39% drop from just last month. According to Insider, this is a 52% price drop from May 2021, when it was $1,733 per thousand board feet. Why has the price come down? Some think it's because of higher mortgage rates, slowing demand down for new homes, but others simply think it's the supply chain catching up. In our last story, let's talk about mother-in-law units. Americans are favoring creative ways to make housing more affordable than ever before. According to Zillow, more than three in four adults surveyed earlier this year said they supported at least modest efforts to pump more housing units into residential neighborhoods through the addition of accessory dwelling units or small multifamily structures. Fewer than half of homeowners surveyed said they would be okay with an apartment building in their neighborhood. However, 63% of them acknowledged that apartments help affordability. 76% of renters believe more apartments would improve affordability, while 72% of renters would be okay with a new apartment building near them. In our economic indicators this week, the United States unemployment rate is at 3.6%. Our average days on market for US listings is 38 days. According to Realtor.com, our median list price is $405,000. Our average rent is $1,697 per month for a one-bedroom apartment. Average interest rates for primary residences with ideal credit for 30-year fixed-rate mortgages were at 5.34% and 15-year fixed-rate mortgages were at 3.63%. Average interest rates for investment properties for 30-year fixed-rate mortgages with 20% down were somewhere around 5.98% and 30-year fixed-rate mortgages with 25% down were around 4.43%. Our number of the week is 1.79 million. This is the number of privately owned housing starts in March, the highest level in the United States since 2006. That'll wrap it up for this week's real estate and economic news. However, check back next week to stay up to date each and every week. If you want to get started in real estate investing right now, schedule a call with one of our investment counselors using the link in the description. Don't forget to give us a like on this video if it was useful to you and your real estate career, and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching the Rent to Retirement YouTube channel. Check out some of our other videos, like this one, or this one here.